Hello and welcome to another episode of my F123 My Team Career Mode. We're here today for part 9 for the Italian Grand Prix and our home Grand Prix as a team being Lamborghini. We have our own special helmet and also a one off special livery as you can see there. But basically, instead of the front wing being black, we've changed it to green. And it will be back to back for the next race in Singapore. But I thought, being that it is our very first home Grand Prix, we'd do something different for a change. And also, we are going very quick. This car, instead of using some default setups, I tried to use a custom setup that I found somewhere. And this car has turned into a rocket ship. We are so quick in a straight line. Well, fairly decent, which is all you really need now in Monza. But into the Hiscari chicane, pretty much flat out. This is a lap of the gods. If I do say so myself, I think this is the best lap I've ever done. If we go into the Parabolica, or this Cornell Barretto that they named it to now. It's only two personal bets. As we come up to the line now, we cross the line for positional pole position. What a lap. That's a lap from the gods. And as we skip on to the final lap of, of qualifying, we've gone purple, sector one, purple, sector two. We've found even more time. And as we cross the line, it's going to be our first pole position on home soil. Let's go to the race. Welcome to the venue of evocative corner names like Parabolica, which was renamed in 2021 to Curva Alberetto in honor of Italian motorsport legend Michele Alberetto. It's a fitting tribute to him here at Monza, ahead of the Italian Grand Prix. Loretta Fila, Ascari, Curva Grande, the Parabolica, names to get you excited. This is Monza, where we are full throttle for 80% of the lap. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Brown lines up on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid we have, Russell, Hamilton, Perez, Leclerc, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Fittipaldi, Stroll, Ocon, Gasly, Albert, Bottas, Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Joe, Sergeant, De Vries, Sergeant. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for the race today. Let's talk about Brown. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. So I think we needed to up the difficulty a little bit, so I did that. But how long can we stay in the lead? This is very much a Bahrain situation where we had a decent qualifying that day we were third. And we were always going to go backwards, but the car is a lot better compared to the start of the season. So how far and how long can we stay in the lead? We've got Max Verstappen alongside us. He's looking for a better result after a disappointing home Grand Prix for him. And our home Grand Prix. What can we do as the five red lights come on? The five red lights go out and we're racing here in Monza. And we're going to be straight over to cover off the Red Bull of Verstappen. As we rock it down into turn one. We're still ahead. Hamilton just George and Max Romero to Will and Hamilton's on the outside it's the the same it's Mercedes sandwich and three wide as they go through the curve of Grande they go Max loses out to both of the Mercedes this is allowing us to build a small gap ahead and there's Hamilton past the Max 
and George and now he's venting down after us as now we come out of the final corner we go a little bit wide we're really really struggling for traction big mistake there and now through goes Hamilton we side by side as we go down the pit straight there's George looking for a way through if he can we're nearly three wide Hamilton we are three wide George sends it late Hamilton holds it to the outside we stay in the lead and Verstappen is trying to get back in front of the Mercedes he's got past George he couldn't get Hamilton one lap later couple of laps later on to lap three we were just trying to keep the gap out Hamilton now coming for us on the lead once again into the first corner we cover him off this time once again we are going to have some very wide elbows today if we are going to try and at least get the podium or maybe just maybe win this race Hamilton goes up the inside we cover him off through the scourge again now we've found a bit of time as we head up to the final corner Max is now side by side and the engine's gone red the, river, the engine's popped no way our engine is smoking and our <laughs> Hamilton takes the lead and how that has turned from the lead to out and our Italian Grand Prix last four laps. Here we are then, it's a thoroughly deserved win here in Italy after another excellent job. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everyone played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. So what was looking like a good race, after 4 laps the engine let's go, I even put a fresh engine in because I knew it was Monza and it's popped and that's our first reliability issue, Bitter Powder's had some, Mark didn't even tell me about the issue, that is so so frustrating, we had it on pole, we had wide elbows, we probably wouldn't have won but it's annoying that we didn't get the chance to at least try with the engine blowing up, that hurts especially at our home Grand Prix, the special one off livery curse continues in Formula 1, it always seems to be a thing so we'll be going back to our normal livery for the next race and for the rest of the season, we've taken a hit in the drivers and Lando is starting to pull away from us now a little bit yeah it's really annoying in terms of the constructors you can see it there we're still in p6 and yeah frustrating race for us especially from where we were but i doubt we would have won anyway i'm gonna go and find somewhere to cry thanks for watching i'll see you in the next race under the lights of singapore